Welcome to Barrington Sports Monday Night Hockey. I'm Simon Mason and on tonight's episode we have a whole host of highlights as Holcomb women played Bowdoin Hightown and the men played Brooklyn's Manchester University. We also have Surbiton's rearranged game against Bowdoin Hightown and the crucial relegation battle Cannock at home to Hampstead and Westminster. Our first match sees 4th placed Holcomb host 9th placed Bowdoin Hightown. Both sides have struggled to score goals this season, so this match promised to be a tight affair. Let's join our match commentator Charlie Broom for the match highlights. Penalty corner for Holcomb and it's flicked goalwards by Wilkinson and somehow it goes wide. Have a look at number 16 Elliot, comes and gets the deflection and puts it across the face of goal. Here come Holcomb once more, but uh, well, Bowden have given away the uh, free hit. And here's an opportunity on the reverse stick. And it whistles across the face of goal. And almost there to turn it in is Nick White. As the ball is played out to Shona McCallan on the reverse stick. McCallan gets it across the face of goal. And Nick White sliding in there, not far away. White just misses out and it's picked up by Richardson but it's one back by Holcomb here's a chance good save and somehow it hasn't gone in it was Mazdorp with the shot after nice initial skills from McCallan and the keeper goes to ground and as well, the shot comes in maybe it's deemed as being too high here comes a penalty corner it's the save but it's fallen Kylie to the injector and it's in Sarah Jones gives Holcomb the lead. Seven minutes into the second half. The initial strike from the top of the circle deflected into the path of Jones, who then finishes in nothing Lipchop can do on the line. Fired in from Elliott, and it's just hit past by Mazdorp. That's desperately close. Here is McCallan. He's giving the ball away and a chance here now for the visitors. This is uh, Richardson. Richardson's to Walton. Walton goes across the keeper and into the far post. What a finish that is from Sally Walton. Well picked out, but it's a sharp finish across Maddie Hinch, who's just beaten by the pace. Penalty corner. Strike comes in, and it's gone in. Maguire slotting the ball between keeper and defender, and gives Holcomb the lead once again. Drilled in. And between Tennant, penalty corner, again they go to the pass where it's broken down, here is White and it falls now to McCallan and McCallan scores 3-1 to the home side now and surely the points are safe. There's a conflap going on, I don't think the goal has stood but that is the final whistle and Holcomb have won this game by two goals to one. Now for the men's league leaders. Holcomb against Brooklyn's Manchester University. Holcomb welcomed back Jackson, Middleton and Lewis from the Hockey India League action, knowing that a victory would all but secure the league title, whilst the visitors needed a win to cling on to their slim hopes of a fourth place in the league. Onto the attack first up and an opportunity here and Pinner comes out and Pinner makes the save and Holcomb get it clear. Picked up on the edge of the circle, good advantage played and well he hit the target. Pinner makes a fine stop. Penalty corner for Holcomb. And what a save that is, away to his right hand side by Scott. Really good save from the Brooklyn's keeper. 
wide in and Scott gets it clear, but his clearance is picked up and a little lob over the top by Ward. And it's a penalty corner, but have a look at this from Sam Ward. Beautiful bit of skill, sees the keeper advancing and just tries to dink it over it, but uh, cleared off the line. But a high ball leads to the penalty corner. And it comes, and a good save again, follow up, oh, and that's rifled into Catlin. And, well, Holcomb is saying it's come up off the Brooklyn's defender's stick. It's fired across it, come up off the keeper, and into Catlin. Holcomb looking for this breakthrough, we'll look up. Here's an opportunity, and they can't get it clear. Oh, what a finish that is from Sam Ward. I'm not sure I got the uh, initial shot. Was it Richard Lane? As it comes in, Lane picks it up here. Uh, then he loses it, but uh, it's turned in by Ward. Initial shot, I think. Okay. Lovely little ball in. Here's a one-on-one, -on -one, and that's a fine finish from Gareth Andrew. What a finish on the reverse stick from the Holcomb number seven. A lovely ball inside the Brooklyn's defence. And Andrew, all unmarked, finds the finish worthy of that pass. Brooklyn really needs something here if they can get it. Pinner shot, be down, makes a double save. It's still there. And uh, Holcomb finally get it clear. The initial flick from Graham, good save. Ball just there, wouldn't drop for them and Middleton on the line. Now a chance here for the visitors to try and claw on back. Lovely running down this right hand flank. Plenty of tackles going in but still going into the circle. Can they find the finish here now? The visitors, Pinner makes the save. They do find the finish. Richard Slater finishes off a fine move down the right hand side and Brooklyn's are right back in this one. Tackle missed there by Robbins. Lovely little pass. Pinner makes the save. But the follow-up is put away by Slater. Here come Brooklyn's again. They scored a fine goal down the right-hand side. Can they find a good goal down the middle? Oh, what an opportunity that was for Karras. He created the first goal down the right and he got the opportunity for the equaliser here. A slice clearance from Banderak. Oh, and he just pulls it wide. Jackson up to the 23 has a little look lovely little pass and good save but it's still there another double save from Scott from Barry Middleton this is from the reverse angle and he's done very well there Scott Cross comes a sliding haul, but he's missed the ball, and here's a chance now for the home side. And it's Andrew again that makes it Holcomb three, Brooklyn's one. A fine finish. Good work down the right by Field. And a difficult bouncing ball. Andrew makes it look very easy. Brooklyn's just wide of the uprights I think from friend it's not far away around the back they'll go Jackson and that is the final whistle and Holcomb season continues going it's yet another win they've beaten Brooklyn's by three goals to one the rest of Saturday's matches in the Men's League saw East Grinstead go down by five goals to one at home to Surbiton, Canterbury beat Beeston despite a Mark Gleghorn hat-trick for the visitors, Phil Ball scored a last-minute winner for Wimbledon against Hampstead and Westminster, and another last-minute goal, this time from Richard Mantell, gave Reading victory over Cannock. 
On to Sunday's action and first to a rearranged match at Surbiton as the league leaders hosted Bowden Hightown. With Surbiton unbeaten all season and Bowden Hightown coming off the back of their tough match on Saturday, this was bound to be a difficult task for the visitors. Let's rejoin Charlie Broom for the best of the action. Penalty corner for Surbiton. They goof the move. Here is Twig and Twig scores. Georgie Twig opens the scoring seven minutes in. Surbiton one, Bowden Hightown nil. From behind the goal, Twig to the right of screen. All unmarked, can't mark all the options from a penalty corner, but it's a fine finish from Georgie Twig. Here's Walton, he takes the free hit quickly. It's a lovely looking ball through to Holly Wollstonehome. Wollstonehome round Walker. And that's good defending by Holly Munro, I think. Walker commits herself. Wilson home goes round her. But uh, have a look at this defending from Munro. Great pick. Penalty corner now for the visitors from the top of the circle. The strike saved by Walker. Turned in by Donnelly. Hannah Richardson with the strike from the top of the circle. Drawing the save from Abby Walker. But there is the injector Donnelly to deflect it home. Serves him down this right hand side. Bowden just got themselves back on level terms. Lovely looking run from Middleton. No! Bowden area. Bouncing around is in the back of the net. And it's Chilton who has restored Surbiton's lead. But, well. Bowden will be desperately disappointed. They've only just got themselves back on level terms. Middleton with the run down the right-hand side. Bouncing around in there. They couldn't get it free. And then on the reverse stick, a smart finish by Chilton. Good interception. All forward by Humphreys. And now Bowden Hightower, they're looking for another equaliser. They can work this into the circle. Here is that chance, and that is a good save from Walker, but what a golden opportunity this is for Bowden Hightown to be back on level terms. It was a clear sighter at goal, and yep, they hit the target, but really, Sarah Ringham should be scoring from there. Take nothing away from Abby Walker, though. It was a good save. Penalty corner then. For Surbiton, it's Ansley. She gets it back and slots it under Tennant. And Surbiton lead by three goals to one. Exchanging passes with Sarah Haycroft at the top of the circle. And when Ansley gets this back, first time underneath the keeper. Paulson plays it forward. Paulson. She won it back. She's not going to get it back because it's down on this left-hand side with Twig. Twig into the circle. Still going, Georgie Twig. And that is the easiest of finishes for Jenna Walburn at the far post. Georgie Twig with the work down the left channel. After picking up the ball here, Twig driving into the circle. Across came McNaught to try and make the tackle. The ball popped up. Twig kept going. Spotted Walburn. Walburn's not going to miss from there. Penalty corner comes in. That's a good save. No, it's gone in. It's another goal. A deflection. Tennant's gone the right way. In fact, I think this might be overruled because it was too high and not going on target. Yeah, it's been ruled out. And Ansley. Just whips it past the post. Another close call from a penalty corner. That is not a million miles away. Forward goes Haycroft. And that is the final whistle. And Surbiton have beaten Bowden Hightown by four goals to one. 
In the Women's Premier League on Saturday, Erica Sanders rescued a point for the University of Birmingham against East Grinstead with a goal in the final three minutes. Buckingham succumbed to their 12th defeat of the season at home to Canterbury. Leicester beat Reading thanks to a solitary unarmed goal and Clifton went down by three goals to one away at Surbiton. Surbiton have now opened up a three-point gap at the top of the table, with Holcombe and East Grinstead still battling it out for that all-important fourth spot. Whilst at the bottom, Buckingham's task is increasingly difficult to pull themselves off from the foot of the table. Back to the Men's Premier League and up to Cannock as they hosted Hampstead and Westminster. This was a vital match as ninth played eighth. A win for either side would see them pull away from relegation trouble, but defeat would mean serious problems with just the one match remaining after this. East Grinstead lost their second match of the weekend as goals from Brogdon and Kinder gave Wimbledon victory. Four second half goals saw Holcomb beat Beeston after Martin had given the visitors the lead. Canterbury produced another great result as they beat Brooklyn's Manchester University by three goals to two and a Shipperley double gave Surbiton victory over Reading. Holcomb have now secured top spot in the league and therefore a spot in next year's EHL and Wimbledon's two wins over the weekend means the top four is confirmed for the playoffs. At the bottom, four teams are still in realistic threat of relegation, although Canterbury have pulled themselves off the bottom of the table for the first time since the 3rd of November. That's all for this week, but keep an eye out for our Women's Goal of the Month competition coming soon. Next week sees the completion of the Men's League, as well as some crucial matches in the Women's Premier League. Subscribe now to make sure you don't miss it.